For the sign of Aries, hello and welcome to my channel. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So Aries, in the recent past, we've got this Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Beautiful. Two really great cards in the tarot. Now, the Ten of Pentacles is showing that uh, things were probably going really, really well for you in the recent past. You had a great deal to be thankful for. Your relationships of all kinds, your finance, health, all of those things, all of those things were probably going really well. So you probably needed to consider how you got to such a happy situation, or that's what you did, and you made the best of it, and you were probably sure to share what you had, even if it was just a kind word spoken to someone in need. Because you realize that we get back what we give out. Or maybe that's what you should have done if you didn't do that in the recent past. Ten of Pentacles is also paired with the Four of Wands, which is showing that you could have been att attending a special event. It would have been way more fun than you were anticipating. It's saying that you should have made sure to go, or you did go and you had a great time. If you had a business, it was likely to be going really well. You would have been proud of yourself, and others would have been proud of you also. Although this is a very positive card to get in a reading, it shows that there's a need to keep your wits about yourself, that you probably did deserve and treat, treat yourself to some fun, but it was a time that you were probably still in a building up phase and it wasn't really a good time to rest completely on your laurels. Now this card can also mean that you could have been moving your place of residence. So basically Aries, for the recent past, just to sum it up, Ten of Pentacles and Four of Wands, I'm showing for a lot of you that you were in a really great connection with someone because the Four of Wands is about marriage, long-term commitment. Uh, someone could have proposed to you. You are in a very, very um, beautiful relationship. It was working really well and things overall were good um, because that's what the Four of, Four of Wands is about. and the. Ten of Pentacles is about, it's also about commitment, childbirth, marriage, engagement. It's just as beautiful as the Four of Wands. Uh, just a little side note about the Ten of Pentacles. Someone could have asked for a second chance. That's what Ten of Pentacles also indicates. Someone could have came back and said, yeah, let's do this again. Can I have a second chance? And it was beautiful. Things worked out and things were great. Yeah, but that was the recent past. So I know what a lot of you are saying. Can we stay out of the past and let's get on with the future. So let's do that. So for the present time coming up for the third week of August, we got the three of Pentacles and it's with the ten of wands. So the three of Pentacles, it's a very, very positive card in the tarot, especially when it comes to work and career questions. Or it could be family and romance, but it's just know it's a really good card overall. It means that you're doing well. The Three of Pentacles tells you that people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts. And they also notice the quality of work you do, even if you don't get a paycheck. Now, the Three tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're right on track. There could be some room for improvement, but at this time, you will not have to scrap something and then start again. You will not. Three of Pentacles is paired with the Ten of Wands. Now, the Ten of Wands, you could feel, you could start to feel like you're carrying a heavy burden. Because if you take a look at the picture of this card, the card that's below the word present, that's the Ten of Wands. So you see how this man, he's walking forward, but he's about to, he's actually about to fall backwards. He's carrying these heavy wands. So, like I said, you may start to feel like you're, you've got a heavy load. So you might want to look at this and see if there's any ways that you might lighten your load either liter literally or figuratively if you look carefully you could find that part of the burden that you're carrying 
it actually belongs to someone else. So it's going to be important for you to pace yourself and try not to take on too much. So Aries, for the present time, Three of Pentacles and Ten of Wands. With these two cards paired together, it's basically it's basically showing that uh, you could be in a relationship or dealing with someone and it might start to feel like a burden, like a heavy burden, but I'm showing that your person is going to try to convince you or uh, make you think that um, things are not as bad as they, as they seem. They're going to present to you um, the positive. They're going to point out the positive. And um, this person might even offer teamwork, collaboration, because that's what the Three of Pentacles is about. Uh, the person, your person will uh, make you feel like or make you um, think or they will present to you benefits because the Three of Pentacles is about benefits. So your person will offer you benefits even though you still might feel like the relationship is at a difficult place. It's a hard place in a relationship when you get the Ten of Wands but your person is going to bring out the positive side of the connection. They're going to have you focus on the good and not what's weighing you down. So what's weighing you down could be something going on in the relationship or maybe it's something that you, you're going through. But your person is going to, they're going to offer teamwork, collaboration. They'll um, bring out the positive. And um, hopefully this will relieve the burden that you're feeling, that you're carrying. But let's um, see what's going on for the challenge. This might bring some clarity to what's going on. So for the challenge, we got the Five of Cups and the Seven of Swords. So the Five of Cups... It reminds us that where we put our focus has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well it works for us. So you could find that you're asking, what will you choose to focus on? The implication will probably be clear. For example, are you going to cry over spilt milk or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? The point is, or what I'm trying to say is that you have to watch where you put your focus and make sure the focus is for your highest good. Because with the Five of Cups, there's some type of disappointment when you get this card in a reading. Now, it's paired with the Seven of Swords, which points to someone who could be behaving with less than ethical intentions. It sometimes also means prying into someone's life where you don't belong if you sense that someone is spying on you. It could be right, and if you're tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who is giving you cause for concern, you just might want to resist the impulse because we know everyone deserves privacy. So basically, Five of Cups and Seven of Swords for your challenge. So it looks like you, you're going to have to decide where you put your focus because there's some disappointment about a relationship you could be in or about some situation. Um, with this Five of Cups, it's about loss, regret, grief, feelings of abandon. Or you could start to feel unloved. But there's disappointment. So you're going to have to, like I said, focus on where you're going to put your energy. You're going to focus on the disappointment or are you going to focus on what's still good? And it looks like because it's with this Seven of Swords, you might feel like uh, someone is playing games with you, being manipulative, using strategy, tactics. So you might, I'm picking up that you might try to decide, do you want to deal with someone like this? Because it looks like the person that's doing this to you, they might have some good, and then there's some bad. They play games probably. And you're kind of like tired of it. 
you're tired of it with the five of cups so you're trying to focus or trying to decide do you want to deal with this type of person or or not so you might try to decide do you want to abandon this connection or not or or stay so it's, it's about making a decision and like i said it looks like you're dealing with someone who probably plays games could be the person that you're involved with it could be someone new coming towards you or it could even be the person from the recent past that uh, you had such a great connection with because when i say the recent past the recent past could be a week ago could be a month ago three months ago six months or more so you may still be you might just still be dealing with the same person but for some reason you're going to start to feel like they're being strategic and maybe manipulative now keep in mind the seven of swords is also known as a stalker so you can feel like somebody's keeping tabs on you so it's a decision time this challenge do you want to continue to deal with this should you focus on what's good and then get on with things so it's a, it's a choice to make but you're dealing with someone that um, could be playing games and it looks like you don't really appreciate it because you're trying to figure out what to do so that's going to be a challenge aries now let's take a look and see what the outcome is now we got the fool card and it's paired with the emperor now the fool card it's an indicator of newness in one form or another in many ways it indicates the purity and the open-hearted energy and the innocence of a child we know children they're trusting and trust forms the meaning for this card now this is considered to be a positive card but there could be one one thing you're gonna have to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown that's one thing but if you do so without any thought whatsoever it could be a big mistake because if you take a look at the full card which is above the word outcome that's a full card now it looks like this uh, young man he could be up high somewhere in the mountains maybe he's hiking and he's just having such a he's feeling like he's having such a open-hearted energy that he's having such uh, he's ready for something new this person is ready to take a leap just ready to go for it and he's so into the moment or into this energy that he doesn't even realize he's about to walk off of a cliff and what's below him is all blue water it looks like a huge ocean maybe the pacific ocean so he's about to make a big mistake because he's not watching where he's going so there there it is he's gonna land into a whole lot of water like i said it looks like the pacific ocean so with the full card you do have to be careful because you're feeling so gun ho just ready to take a leap now that explains the full card but it's paired with the emperor now the emperor it shows that domination over the mind over the heart is sometimes necessary even though it's not wanted in fact it should be welcomed and that's what you must think about when you get this card so when hard choices must be made it's important to maintain your concentration and your focus the emperor signals this but he also signals that now is a time when you'll find it easier to make hard choices so enjoy the assertiveness and confidence that the self-controlled focus brings forge ahead do what you know is best because if you can master yourself then you should have very little problems mastering most of the obstacles that life can throw at you so i guess you're asking me what does that mean and what am i saying well the emperor it's the type of person that um, they do not want to come across as vulnerable vulnerable this person could be a leader or a boss really arrogant um, they really don't uh, well let's put it this way they have a hard time opening up their heart yeah the emperor um, like I said they don't want to come across as vulnerable so you never really know how this person feels about you emotionally 
But basically, for your outcome, Aries, Fool card and the Emperor, with these two cards paired together, it looks like you're dealing with someone um, with this Five of Cups. You're trying to make a decision. For the challenge, we see we saw that you have the Five of Cups. You're trying to make a decision on someone that you feel like um, they play games, they're manipulative, um, and a lot of times it feels like a heavy burden. We talked about that in the present time. But this person is going to try to prove to you that the connection is good. Your person wants it to work. And because the full card is there for the outcome, they want you to give it a sec. They want you to keep trying. They want to keep trying with you. They're ready to just, they want you to jump right in and let's keep making it happen. But you might have a hard time understanding this person because they really don't show any emotion. They don't show any emotion. You can't tell how they feel about you. So it kind of feels like a burden. A heavy burden and then they play they, this person might play games be manipulative they might watch you a lot they might keep tabs on you and you're just trying to make a decision do you still want to deal with this or do you want to should we keep focusing or should you try to focus on what's good in the connection and your person wants you to keep it going they want to keep it going they want you to just uh, jump right in but I'm getting another storyline for a lot of you, Aries. You might be ready for something new because the Fool card is about either you're jumping right in or you're, you're ready to jump right into something new. The Fool card is, could be about something new. So you may be ready to go off, take a leap on this, into something else or someone else new because your person, they don't really open up. They have a hard time showing emotions. And uh, the emperor, to be honest with you, quite frankly, this type of person, they'd rather have you die wanting to know how they feel about you or what's in their heart. So you could be thinking, it's time for something new. You're ready to jump into a new connection, maybe someone that you know already. Or you're just ready for something new. You're ready to take a leap. Or for a lot of you areas, your person wants you to just Jump into this connection and stay. They want you to take a leap of faith on, on this connection. So I'm getting a couple of storylines. You might be ready to go off for something new somewhere else. Or you could be ready to just jump right into what you have already and make it work. Yeah, so couple of different storylines your person they could have a lot of love for you but you wouldn't know it no the emperor they like i said this person would rather have you die wanting to know what's inside their heart so they watch you they keep tabs on you maybe when you don't know it because like i said the seven of swords is about stalking and sometimes this connection, it feels like a heavy burden. Now, if this is the person from the recent past with all this love and commitment here, your person, they do, they do have a lot of feelings and love and emotion for you. They want the connection to go to the next level. But a lot of times it's a burden for some reason. And But it looks like they want to offer benefits because this Three of Pentacles it's about offering benefits. Maybe your person has a great 401k. Maybe, they, maybe they're going to convince you that they'll put you on the life insurance policy. Some type of great benefits is in this reading here. So you might just, like I said, take a leap of faith and stick with this person. I don't see anything really bad. They just don't open their heart. And they probably s spy on you, stalk you, play games. So, yeah, that would be bad. Who likes to be played with? Played with? Played with? 